guys, so this vlog is going to start like the last vlog ended with me sitting on the floor of the garage. And that's because this week is Mammoth. Actually, as we're recording this, they're out there racing right now. Um, I'm not going till this last Sunday of Mammoth, the very last day. That's the one race I'm going to do. And since it's the biggest amateur race that I've ever been to, I went out and got some new gear. Only thing missing with this is my name and my number and some logos. So, I had to bust this guy out. This is my screen press, if you don't know that. Um, it's been in storage since I got hurt. I actually had to move since I got hurt, so. This guy's been in storage and I had to, I pulled him out so I could print on this. Um, just because I want to have, you know, my name and number on the back of the jersey. The last time I rode without my name on a jersey, I destroyed my wrist and my elbow. So, not going to do that anymore. So I haven't worn this at all. Um, I have the matching pants. Um, I also have some stuff for that I got to do, hopefully, within this week. Um, okay, so for the ones that aren't familiar with what screen printing is, basically, you take a big screen mesh, put a call emulsion on it, uh, then you put a stencil of what you want to print, your design, onto that, expose it to light, uh, take the stencil off, wash it out, and you have a negative, which is what this guy is, then you take your shirt, what you want to print on, put that onto a palette, take your screen, place like so, put your choice of ink, so this stuff is, ink, onto the screen, squeegee, and then you essentially force the ink through the screen onto the garment. That's what it is. It's That's what it is to, in a nutshell. There's actually a lot to it as far as exactly how you do things, but essentially that's what it is. Um, pretty simple and straightforward, um, but there is definitely a science behind it, and I am no way a near professional at it. But it is how I've done all my other jerseys before. So every jersey that you see me wear with my name and number on it, whatever logos I put on it, that was because I printed it, so. With this jersey though, we are doing black and white. So, I'm gonna do name and number in black, and I'm gonna put a white outline around it, and I only need the white outline around the name, which is why that's all taped off. You can see right there, that part's gonna be white, and that's why I need to have white around it, so. That's the idea, and let's see how well that works.
and my sponsor logos on the front right there, those five. Um, I may or may not be adding to the back of this, we'll see how that goes. Um, this, however, is not the number I'm going to be running at Mammoth. This is the jersey I'll be wearing, but that's not my number for this weekend. Unfortunately, someone raced a qualifier at, uh, raced the Sacramento qualifier at Hangtown with my number he, in my class, so I can't you know, run triple three, which is whatever. Um, it's only a number, but since this is the number I run all the time, that's what I put on the jersey. But this weekend, it's going to be a different number, and I will still need to get graphics for that. I'll change that around just for the one weekend, though, so... We'll see how that goes. Um, I'm not completely done with this. I still have a couple more things to do as far as just getting it to cure right now. But, as far as the number goes, I'm gonna keep that a secret until you see the Instagram post or whatever I put up with that number. You'll see it hopefully sometime this week. So until then, I'm gonna finish this, do a little bit of motor work on that. And if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more and follow along with what I'm doing, hit that subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.